Hello everyone, it's Medina from The Clarinet Life, and today what I want to go over is the B-flat major scale one octave. The B-flat major is a scale that normally starts on B-flat. On the clarinet, the lowest B-flat is this fingering. Thumb, one, two, three, one. Okay, sounds like this. And again, that's thumb, one, two, three, one. Now the B-flat scale that I want us to do is one octave, starting on our lowest B-flat, which we just played. The second uh, B-flat that I want to share with you is one step higher, and that we will be using this back key. The official name for it is register key. I like to call it the string bean key. And then the other key is, we, a lot of times we just call it the A key, I like to call it the teardrop key. And you'll be using your pointer finger, number one, and your thumb in order to press those keys. So with the teardrop key, you're going to put finger one, your index finger, here, left hand, here, and your thumb, right here, is going to hit the bottom of this key, right here. So I'm gonna sh move the camera to show you what I mean by that. Right here is where you're going to hit. Now, it's important that when you uh, push down the string bean key, that you don't cover this tone hole. We are not covering this tone hole. So your thumb is gonna be like this. It's not gonna cover this part of note sounds. Okay, so that was the higher B flat. And now the lower B flat, higher B flat. Try practicing those two notes. And if you're not sure about any of the fingerings, you can always look back at your workbook, like the Essential Elements book, and take a look at a fingering chart if you need to. And also, if you look in the workbook, it'll also say the notes. And so you'll see a letter B, so the note name is B, flat, and you'll see something that looks like a little miniature B, a flat symbol. And you can also check in, in the back of the workbook for that those uh, two notes. So we have our lower B and our higher B, flat, that is. Um, but we also need to learn one more note. And this new note that I want to share with you, or maybe you know it already, is E flat. Now E flat is thumb, not uh, hitting the string bean key, thumb, one, two. So that's really similar to D, except there's one change here. These, uh, these keys right here are trill keys. We're gonna hit this one right here. I like to say that this is the fourth trill key. So we're gonna hit this key here. So it's thumb, one, two, and then the side key here. Okay, so for E flat, because this scale has B flat and E flat, we have thumb, one, two, and that uh, trill key, that lower trill key. I'll play the note for you. Let me stand up. So you can see my fingers and then the, the whole clarinet. So you see I have the side key. And I just have thumb one, two. Okay, let me go over one more note and that's the note A. Just in case if you're not familiar with this note, so we're gonna take the teardrop key also known as the A key here. And with my left index finger, I need to call that one. I'm gonna press it down. Now I'm not hitting the key this way. I'm hitting it actually kind of in the edge of my finger like this. And that sounds like this. And this note, just like that B flat that we have played earlier, this key is not uh, being covered, this uh, tone hole is not being covered, and this key also is not being pressed, okay? And then when I add the string bean key, I get, so A by itself, add the string bean key, I get my B flat. To start with my lowest note, that low B flat, thumb one, two, three, one, 
and then I'm going to work my way up the notes. The scale, what makes B flat so special, is it has two flats, right? The B flat and that E flat. So it's going to take a little bit of time remembering, but the more that you do it, the easier it's going to get, and you're going to recall what those special notes are that makes a B flat a scale B flat. Here we go. One, two, ready. <laughs> probably were wondering when you, if this is a new skill for you when you're playing the E flat you might have been like wait a second what's the next note again so after E flat is F so we have B flat C D then your E flat and then F so F after E flat and F you have to lift your fingers up that's quite an adjust adjustment to make so we have So that's a new kind of finger motion that you're going to be uh, doing when you play anything that's in the key of B flat or whenever you're playing the scale. The other thing that you have to adjust to is after playing that open G, you're going to be hitting that teardrop key for A, and then you have to add the streaming key without covering the back tone hole right here. So it takes a little bit of adjustment, but let's practice it a few times. I'm going to stand because I want to sh share with you like the whole instrument and maybe kind of show you a little bit more how I'm handling the clarinet. Okay, let's see if maybe I can make an adjustment. Here we go. All right, hopefully this will help a little bit. I'm going to kind of put it in the side so you can see my profile a little bit. One, two, ready? So, I want you to practice that, try it a few times, see how it feels, and once it feels comfortable, once you feel really good about ascending, going up the scale, then the next step is to just descend, go down, back to that lower B flat. Once you've gotten to the peak note, the B flat, A, that A key, and the string bean key. Okay, let's give it a shot. I'm gonna do it slow, and I would like for you to play with me. This time I'm gonna kind of move center to see if that helps with you looking at my fingers. And don't forget we have that E flat, right? And that B flat. One, two, Ready? major scale B flat major has two flats in the key B flat and E flat so if you had a little bit of trouble remembering the notes all you need to do is just repeat and do it over and over again slowly you can always pause the video practice a little bit and then maybe go back a little bit review what I was talking about and then try it again um, yeah, so this is a new scale, and I hope that you're going to incorporate it in your warm-ups, and I'll make more videos showing you how do you do more scales, and also uh, maybe some more videos that have B-flat major in it, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Have fun. Happy practicing.